and you've said before that part of your proposal in terms of how to deal with this immigration crisis is to um, end the U.S.'s involvement in uh, a country in Latin America to end um, this kind of um, these policies that that create uh, conditions there that that. Uh, make people want to immigrate elsewhere and mm -hmm. to the U.S. specifically. Um, uh, as far as ending that, uh, that you know that that would be clear that that would you know that be something that you could you could implement. But as far as the people who are already here, yes. uh, the 11 million undocumented people, uh, how does your um, your your party? How do you propose to deal with them here? So we call for a welcoming path to citizenship, mm -hmm. but number one, we call for an immediate end to the deportations mm -hmm. and the detentions and the night raids. Mm -hmm. The, um, you know, the American people and immigrants from Latin American countries have learned in this election that the Republicans are the party of hate and fear mongering. But what they've learned throughout Obama's presidency is that the Democrats are the party of deportations and of detentions and night raids. And the, uh, the detention of children, you know, is absolutely outrageous. I mean, in my view, the detention of <coughs> families and mothers and children who are fleeing the violence that we are in significant measure responsible for. Hillary Clinton approved the coup in Honduras that has the military coup that has led to you know this violence in Honduras from which tens of thousands of people have become refugees. To be putting those people, to be criminalizing them and to be putting mothers and young children into uh, prisons effectively is just unthinkable. That is a real human rights violation mm -hmm. and that's absolutely tragic. Um, you know, and then uh, El Salvador and Guatemala, you know, we've created incredible violence in those cultures as well that have gone on for decades. So we've had a big hand in causing this. And so if one thing we can do right now is stop the, the, um, the, the deportations and the detentions. That is one thing we can do now for the refugees. Mm -hmm. For the immigrants that have been here, uh, whether it's two years or 10 years or 20 years, and they are part of our economies, uh, we need to celebrate them and we need to provide a welcoming path to citizenship. Far more welcoming, in my view, than the uh, immigration uh, bill that was proposed around mm -hmm. 2008, whenever it was, you know, that didn't actually move forward mm -hmm. uh, in Congress. The I gang of aid? Yes, mm -hmm. yes. In my view, we need a more welcoming path mm -hmm. to citizenship um, because we are a country of immigrants mm -hmm. and uh, our diversity is our strength and immigrants are at the backbone of our economies and our mm -hmm. culture and our communities and with the exception of Native Americans and African Americans, we are all immigrants in this country. And for those people who think that uh, that's a problem, to them we say, well then let's stop forcing people to become refugees and to migrate here in the first place. We call for demilitarizing our borders uh, and for having uh, policies that treat people like human beings and that uh, welcome the people who are here at, as the backbone of our society. Okay.